Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. For those of you who have been here on a regular basis, you may have noticed I took the fish down and I finally gained the confidence in what I'm doing to share my uh, awards, my achievements. That's my CFP, my CHFC, my CLU. Um, the CA, CFP actually took about three years to get. So I think of that as my master's degree in finance. And that's what I'm trying to share with you. And I'm going to get more and more into that into the future, into the other aspects of, um, of financial planning. But today, what I want to talk about is something I'm pretty comfortable with, and that is uh, going down to the bottom of the ocean and, and fishing um, for the big fish and uh, those that are laying on the bottom because it's got uncomfortable at the top. Um, and that's what's happened in the stock market. Some of the big fish are down there laying at low prices, um, unprecedented low prices, and we need to recognize them for what they are and cash in on the opportunity. And what I want to do in this video is show you that history repeats itself. And when you get an over-exuberant market, which we certainly have, it corrects and as a result, it offers opportunities. Uh, what I realize, though, is to be in this situation is like to be in a, a hurricane and have ne having never experienced a hurricane and not knowing what's going to happen next and not putting the piece, taking the time to put the pieces of the puzzle together and say, who are the opportunities here to buy and what should I be buying? So that's what this video is about. I think there's some Tremendous history, but first I'm going to start with sharing some um, some data with you that gives you a look at what has happened in the past and give you some perspective as to what's going to happen in the future. It's not financial advice. This is just financial education, and I think if you'll put it together, you can profit from it. So let's talk a little further right after this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. As I said, uh, let's look at history, and history will tell us that it's happened before. We've had the the, the dot com bubble, as I show I show you in this chart, and then we had the subprime crisis, and then in eighteen we had a dip, and then we had the uh, coronavirus, and now we've got the the repercussions of the nine trillion dollars that we pumped into the market in nine months of twenty. 2020 and created the inflation situation that we're in now. And then you've got a war that is creating, I think, a an opportunity for some uh, oil companies to gouge us and increase their profits be, to cover their losses in 2020. But w I did a video on that, and I'm not going to deal, dig deep into that. But what I want to show you in this chart is that this has happened before and something then we learn from it and we come out of it better and then uh, go on to new heights. And I, I suspect that is what's going to happen. What I want to do, though, is emphasize to you that the best companies in the world will survive this. And I want to show you this uh, Excel spreadsheet that I've shown you before that I think illustrates it quite well. This Excel spreadsheet shows you the uh, history of, of Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, uh, Google, and Facebook, and how they have fared through um, downturns in the market. I want to go to the computer because I think this is so important that you recognize, again, it's happened to before to the good companies, and the good companies come back. So let's look at the computer. This is my Excel spreadsheet. I call it the digital revolution. It tracks the history of Apple, Microsoft, 
Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, and Meta, now called or was called Facebook. And the premise was, if we were astute enough just to invest $10,000 in their IPO, what would that $10,000 be worth today? And, and so it is a total investment of $60,000 starting in 1982 with an investment in Apple. And what I really wanted to emphasize here is to watch the performance of these stocks as they go through adverse times. And the first real adverse time was 2000 and our $10,000 from in 1982 investment had grown into $92,000. And then in one year, in 2000, Apple lost 71% of its value and the 92,000 turned into 26,000, had a good year at 40% up and then had another bad year and was down 35% and it went down to $25,000. But, and then grew to 716, had another bad year in 08, lost 57% of its value and went down to 308,000. But now, in 2021, it was up to $18 million. That's a $10,000 investment. And granted, it started in 82, but it grew that much just by leaving it alone. So now it's down 22%. What I did here was I went to Seeking Alpha. I went to my Seeking Alpha, which I spend a lot of time at, and just merely put year to date and see that it is down uh, 22%. I then did that for each of the other companies. And again, it comes up. I merely have to say year to date. And it tells me that Google is down 21.5%. So that's how I then updated each of these stocks and came up with their value as of today. And here again, Microsoft in 87, we invested $10,000 and had a wonderful year. It was up 125% and then just left our money in. It grew um, in 1999. It was actually worth $3.5 million, but it lost 64% of its value in the, in the, the dot-com bubble. Again, we suffered. We went up. We got up to back up to 3.5 billion or million, uh, and we had another bad year, 45 percent down, shrunk to 1.9. As at the end of 2021, was up to 33.7 million. We've lost 21 percent, and we're down to 26 million. So I went through each one of these, and and, and you gotta you gotta look at Amazon. Amazon. We had 151,000 in 1999, lost 151,000, yeah, 151,633, lost 80% of its value in 2000, and then came back with a banner year in 2001 and lost 30% of its value. So our 151,000 went to 21.5. Would you have had the courage to stay with it? came back, was up 75%. We were back up to 104. Last year, that 10,000 was worth 6.6 .6 million. This year, it's worth 4.3. Uh, and, and I'm just confident that this is a company that is going to con repeat itself and will get back to new highs. So this is six companies. This is an investment of $60,000. Today, it's worth $47,171,752. These are the companies that have taken us, brought us from the digital revolution to where we are now. We are now in digital revolution three. These are the companies with the money. These are the companies with the knowledge. These are the companies with the, the talent, and they will take us through digital revolution three. They are the best companies in the world. Why wouldn't I buy these companies at these ridiculously low prices? Uh, down 22%, down 21%, down 34%, NVIDIA down 50%, um, Google down 22%, Facebook down 51%. 
I'm not a big Facebook fan right now. You'll have to watch other videos on that. But this is the opportunity. These are the big fish. They're on the bottom now. Throw them some bait. Dollar cost average. I believe that you'll get another dip at the uh, earnings at the end of this month. But this is the time to be putting some money in these stocks. So I think you can see, I'm telling you, dollar cost average buy into Apple, Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, and Amazon. I have, I have liquidated um, both my Tesla and my um, Facebook uh, meta because I think, first of all, uh, I, I did Tesla back in November. Um, and, and that's because I don't want to own car companies because they don't make profits. And I know Homer, it's not a car company. It's a tech company, but I believe we've talked about this before, China exposure and going up against the tech giants. Uh, it, it, I'm just not comfortable there. And as far as Facebook is concerned, it's too far in the future. I think Facebook will ha will be a major player in the metaverse, but that's too far in the future right now. What I think right now is of paramount importance is two things, and that's health care. We just can't allow this to happen again, so our health care has to be put into overdrive, and, and we, have, we have to make sure that we're not susceptible to this kind of economic disaster that we've experienced over the last two years. So I'm showing you here AI Pharma. This is artificial intelligence to help pharma um, make quicker decisions on antibodies and, and cures for diseases. And for that, I own ABCL. Then I have a, a, a good standing or a good holdings in the genome space. Again, I believe genome sequencing and genome ser therapy is the driving force about our health cure uh, system. And it's going to take some time, much as the internet took some time, but this is bigger than the internet. And so for there, I own Beam, I own CRISPR, I own Editus, I own Nutella, and then Illumina is the genome sequencing hardware that we will all eventually go use, much as we all have gone and used X-ray equipment. Many of you have used uh, MRI equipment. That's what Illumina is. They make the equipment, they own 92% of the market, that will sequence your genome and tell you if you have a propensity for cancer as a result. Do, do you have a mutation? in your genes that gives you that propensity for cancer or for heart disease or for Parkinson's or whatever, and then they will come in and correct it. I've done multiple videos on this, and um, just go back into the library and, and, and learn from the, those past videos. Then I, I have recognized the importance of AI software because of uh, the deglobalization, we are going to become a very centralized unit. We are deglobalization is going to bring our security back to the United States. I believe Palantir is going to be a big player in that. And then I've just recently uh, learned about Oracle's movements into digitizing all of our health records, which brings me back to, I believe, the most important thing that has happened in my 77 and three quarter years of life, September the 5th, 1944, uh, is the coronavirus. It's a bigger thing than World War II, which made the United States a superpower, but the coronavirus and the, the, the resulting deglobalization will make bring the power back to the United States. It will basically destroy China. It will put Russia in a position of jeopardy. 
and we are going to pull back and we're going to survive on our continent. We have all the oil we need. We have all the our, the the uh, technology that we need. We lead that. We have opened ourselves up to the theft of our artificial intelligence, to our our technology, and China has basically fed off of us for the last 20 years. And that's about to change. And if you don't believe me, uh, believe Peter Zeon. Read this book. You can find a link in my description where you can go to Audible if you already don't use Audible, and you can get a free book. And I just strongly suggest you get this book, you put some earbuds in your ear, and you take a long 16-hour walk and listen to this book. It will teach you more about how to invest and how the world works than anything else you should be. This should be required reading for every high school student in the world. So that's where I think the th world is going. I also want to share with you a conversation with, um, with uh, Larry Ellison. It will explain to you why I am so high on Oracle. And I don't know if Oracle's price will go skyrocketing like I think the genome stocks will. But damn it, Larry Ellison is doing something that I think we should have been doing for the last 40 years, and that is making my health care data as accessible as my financial data is. As I said in a video yesterday, I could go to the Cleveland Clinic and they could check my uh, financial data and know whether I could afford to pay the bill, but they could not find my uh, medical data to figure out what's wrong with me. And that's just damn stupid. And it's because people are dragging their feet and not recognizing if we don't want another pandemic, we must do this. And Larry Ellison is leading the charge. So watch this interview. It is a non-published, a non um, it's a private video, but I'll give you, it's an unlisted video. I'll give you the link to it and you listen to what Larry says and you see if you don't agree with me that this is something that has to happen and you have to have it in your portfolio. Okay. The last thing I want to share with you is the last six videos I did. I am getting very focused because I think it is so important that you understand what is happening right now. We are at a pivot point in our economic structure. Yes, we've got inflation. That's because we put $9 trillion into the market between March 2020 and December 2020. What else can you expect? So we got to flush it out. Once it's flushed out, deglobalization, centralized government, health care correction, uh, supply chain correction, and technology. For God's sakes, understand what artificial intelligence is. And right behind it is coming quantum computing. Nobody is talking about this. This is going to change the world. And I just hope I live to, to see it. So excuse me, but I've got a trip I've got to make to do some bottom fishing in the stock market because this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Thank you.